please work as a team. And please start applauding and welcome to the stage, Darcy Morland! Hey, how are we doing? We good? Did you know that living in London is fucked expensive? Yeah? You're all aware? Cost of living and shit? Well, I... Cheers, pal. Um, well, I found a really good way to save money on food. Uh, what I do is walk into busy restaurants with a motorbike helmet on. Yeah, there's a couple of Uber Eats fans in the room. That's nice. Nah, I'm fucking around. Don't do that. Uh, it's illegal. Um, I've been trying to do less illegal shit recently. Like, I haven't done cocaine since 2021. Well, the time's currently 2033. <laughs> so I'm coming down pretty hard. So yes, maybe in a little bit I'll have a line. Thank you. Uh, no, I've been, I've been trying to do less illegal shit because I don't, I don't trust lawyers. Uh, I think it's genetic though because like my great 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 granddad stole a loaf of bread to feed his family and it, and his lawyer was like oh plead guilty so he did and now i sound like this <laughs> so that's how that fucking works apparently no i don't i, I don't like lawyers cuz you know whenever a celebrity does something fucked up their lawyer like releases a statement and it's always the exact same it's like our client denies these allegations and we will defend against them vigorously. Isn't that the whole fucking job? Like, who the fuck is hiring a lawyer who puts out a statement like, our client denies these allegations, but it doesn't matter if we win or lose. As long as we have fun. I guess the real defamation case was the friends we made along the way. <laughs> no, I've been, I've been thinking a fair bit recently about uh, fucked up celebrities. You guys know uh, Dr. Seuss? Yeah? You're all children once, I assume? Yeah? All right, more of a Roald Dahl crowd, that's good. Um, Dr. Seuss, right, had a wife who was dying of a terminal illness that shares its name with a zodiac sign. And... Um, Wow, sir. But yes, when she was dying of um, Aquarius, he... Um... Guys, it was in retrograde. It was pretty bad. Uh... He got himself a mistress. Now, I don't want to speak for everyone in this room, but I think that's pretty bad. Um... I've never imagined Dr. Seuss speaking any other way but in, like, whimsical rhyme, though. So imagining him having an affair is kind of weird. Like the mistress lady, she comes over. She's like, oh, doctor, I'm here for the affair. And he's like, I've waited all week for a chance to see you. So pop out them titties, thing one and thing two. <laughs> oh, doctor, I'm sorry about the voice, by the way. Um, I can't do any other voices. When you imagine Dr. Seuss fucking, she can sound however you like. Oh, doctor, but your wife, she's sick in bed upstairs. My wife is bedridden. She won't be a knocking. Let's go to the couch and I'll bury me cock in. <laughs> yeah, that's the appropriate response. Usually splits the room a little bit, that one, honestly. So I'm sorry about that. Oh, Doctor, can we do that thing I like? I remember that thing. My memory's not foggy. I wrote Cat in the Hat, but I know you love Doggy. <laughs> See, I like that one because it shows that he's listening. Um, so, all right, 
I'll tell you a bit about myself. I'm, I'm 24. Um, okay, well, you don't have to say I'm so fucking surprised. No, I get it. I, I, I get it. 